Yes, hello. Is this uh, Sam Hill, the store manager of uh, the Silver Run store? Hey, Sam, how you doing this evening? Great, great. So, hey, Sam, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I got on the CarMax website and I am purchasing a, a brand new 2022 a Dodge Ram 3500 a limited pickup truck. And um, I wanted to let you know that CarMax is planning on uh, delivering that uh, tomorrow morning and dropping it off at the store. So I just wanted to make sure that um, you were aware of that so I can come down and pick that up in the morning. So is that going to be a problem at all? Not a problem? Okay, that's really good. Um, what color is it? Well, it's going to be a granite crystal, which is a really cool-looking glossy black color. And... um. It's going to have um, some extra uh, connectors, like some rock slider uh, steppers. Uh, it's going to have a ranch hand a grill on the front, and um, it's a dually. It's a Cummins 6.7-liter uh, tuned 770-horsepower engine, and, yeah, you, you can't miss it. It's a, it's a beautiful truck. So, also, uh, just wanted to know, do you happen to have the, um, the um, IT runner? A uh, trailer in stock. Uh, oh, you do. Okay, good. So I want to try that out uh, also as a replacement for something else I'm using. And then um, one other question: How about um, a skitter? Do you have happen to have a, a skitter, one of those John Deere skitters in stock too? Oh man, you're you're well stocked. Uh, I, I'm impressed. Okay, so I'll see you in the morning. Thanks, Sam Hill. Have a good evening. Oh, man, it's been a long day. I think it's time for us to turn in and we'll get up in the morning and go get our new pickup truck. All right, let's go to bed. All right, good morning, everybody. It is October the 2nd. Welcome back to Silver Run 4 series. Uh, we're going to start off this morning <coughs> by... Giving OG a little something warmer to wear. Starting to get a little bit cold out. So, yeah, let's get him set up with that. That looks good. And, um... Uh, let's go in here for a second. And just make sure OG's looking good and ready to go. He's excited, man. OG has himself a brand new Dodge Ram 3500 limited edition pickup truck and he can't wait to get down to the shop and go get it so <laughs> let's get back out of um third person view all right so yeah we're gonna jump in the gator and uh so yeah we have some uh some fun stuff to do in this episode uh we have our new pickup truck of course that we're gonna go get and i'm gonna try the it runner uh trailer and log trailer uh log hauling attachment i guess you'd call it for our scrap wood and i'm gonna i want to try it for a couple reasons one you can put her all the way down on the ground so it'll just be easier to get wood inside of it especially if i'm manually loading the smaller pieces and it's also going to let me um take the trailer um the the logging trailer part of it off of the main trailer and stick it right down in the water in hopes that um, the logs will just float right off and then we can pull out and go on our merry way and not have to wait for all the logs to clear. Um, so we're going to try that. And then we're going to wrap up the episode by trying out the skitter. Uh, I've been using the yarder. And uh, I want to also try skidding and see if I like that better uh, than yarding in terms of, you know, getting our logs back to the landing. So that is what's on the agenda. But look at this butte, man. Look at our new truck here. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll absolutely love it. Nice. Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay, let's hop inside and take a look around. Wow, this is really nice inside of here. Very cool.
This is a 700, 700 and some odd horse engine that we got. Uh, we got a sunroof, sideboards, a guard in front, running lights, high beams, higher high beams, fog lights, a rear light. Wow, there's all kinds of lights in here. Do we have a dome light? Oh, look at that. We even have a dome light. Oh, man, this is really nice, you guys. Really nice. Okay, um, and this suck. Oh, my goodness, this thing goes up to 120 miles per hour. I wonder how... Oh, it sounds awesome. I wonder how stable it is at the higher speeds, though. <laughs> 120, wow. Listen to that engine. I have never gone this fast before in this game. Oh my word. We are cruising. It seems to be fairly stable. Yeah, it's not like all over the place. We're going to probably get ourselves a ticket. Wow, what a beaut. Okay. Um, let's turn around. We got ourselves a toolbox on the back. Is that functional at all? He stops like right in the middle of the highway. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I love it. Nice, tr nice pickup truck. Um, how's the horn? Whoops. Oh, wow, that's loud. Don't scratch it. How's it sound from in here? It's a different tone on the inside than it is on the outside. Oh, whoop. <laughs> It's almost like it's playing a tune or something. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome, you guys. Wow, look at this thing. It's just cranking. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to work here. What a nice truck, though. Isn't that a beaut? Just gorgeous. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to... Uh, I'm going to get a couple things. So, let's start by... Um, we're gonna purchase um, This is by diesel designs by the way, um, and this I got this off of um, It's not on the mod hub. I got it off of um, Farming simulator 22.com something. It's a different mod site and uh, oh man, it's just gorgeous He's done an amazing job on this vehicle Love it. Okay. So anyway, let's get get to work here. So what I want to do is I want to go to uh, let's go to forestry machines and we're going to lease ourselves the John Deere skitter. And like I said, we'll try that out. Just going to lease it until we decide if we really like it or not. And I think what I'll do is I'm just going to have an, the AI drive this back to the camp. And then, uh, we'll, like I said, later on in the episode, we will, we'll play around with this and try it out see how we like it. The lights on that truck are crazy. So let's just get him out on the road here and then have the AI drive him to 18 load. Okay, so we'll get back to that later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go to trailers. And we're going to buy the IT runner base trailer, which, and we're going to get the bigger one. Um, so basically, if you don't know what this does, um, it allows you to interchange all kinds of different platforms on the back. So this little thing will flip back and hook up and then pull a trailer on here. Again, we're going to lease this. We're not going to buy it until I decide I really like it. But some examples are you could get, you know, like this uh, tipper kind of trailer here. You can put a forage wagon on it. You can put a green container on it. Or for our purposes, we're going to go down to forestry equipment and we're going to grab the larger uh, log trailer. And I want to configure it with this setup here. And let's change it to the JCB color just because I like that yellow. And we'll lease that too. So the idea here is that we can, we can set this on the ground and then we can more easily put our dead wood and our scrap wood inside of it. And then when we get to the lumber mill, I can take it um, off of the trailer and dip it all the way down into the water and have the logs float off and then we drive away. So we're going to try that. 
and see how that works for our scrap wood. Now, I'm also going to go back into here and I'm going to go to uh, low loaders and we're going to return the gooseneck trailer that we're currently using and instead I'm going to lease this flatbed trailer. Um, let's change a couple things. I want to go with uh, those wheels and I want the, let's go with a metal this time and we'll do some mud guards. I don't care about branding. We got a gooseneck attacher. I wanted to use, do, use the US attachers because it puts the winches on the side for the straps and the color is good. Okay, we'll lease that. And we can now um, haul stuff around in our pickup truck, you know, small to medium equipment anyways. I don't know if we can put like a, like the big skitter or something on here. But at least we'll be able to haul other things. And so let's back this up. Nice. Okay. And we'll bring it out here and press Z to unload the ramp. And we'll grab the gator and take the gator back to the cabin. I'll keep the gator too. It's handy to have around. But I figured it was time for us to get a real truck, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we got ourselves a real truck. Isn't that a beaut? Oh my goodness, I love it. I spent some time, you know, before I started recording the episode, just looking around at different different mods, uh, you know, for... I looked at some GMCs and some Fords and stuff, and I just... I've always liked the Dodge Ram. And so, yeah, that's what we went with. And then there's several different mods out there, um, you know, for the Ram, too. But this, after looking around, this is the one I... I really like so okay anyway I'm busy admiring my my new truck here we got work to do though okay we'll strap that in We'll bring the end of that trailer up okay let's head on over to well we'll head over to the cabin first and drop the gator off and then we're gonna go to, to our logging camp I'm going to grab the other gooseneck trailer. It has some scrap wood in it already, and we'll just go drop that off at the lumber mill. And this thing is like a race car. <laughs> it's got so much power. It even sounds like a race car. It's a lot quieter on the inside, though. I don't know what's up with the rear view mirror. It's, it, it's working, but it's all cloudy looking for some reason. Um, this even comes in an, in a, a thousand horsepower version too, but I just I felt that was maybe a little bit ridiculous <laughs> for a pickup truck, a thousand horsepower pickup truck. Um, I suppose if it's pulling super heavy loads, it's not unheard of. But anyway, okay, let's get you offloaded here. Good enough. All right, let's head down to the logging camp. Man, look at the blue lighting down there too. Isn't that so neat? If only I had one of these in real life. <laughs> and and I could pay cash for it, right? Like we did here in the game. Ah. No. I'll stick with my Honda Accord and my Honda Pilot. Those are the two vehicles that me and my wife drive. Uh, okay, so we don't need this. And so I'm going to just park this over here. Okay, we'll drop that off. Uh, you don't manually attach these gooseneck trailers. Now let's grab this one. And like I said, we'll take the wood that's currently in there, drop it off down at the lumber mill, and then we will return this trailer 
uh, for for now. It wasn't bad. It worked pretty good, but I want to again I try that IT runner setup because the problem with this trailer at the lumber mill is that it the wood gets caught kind of on the back end there when you're trying to offload it, and it's difficult to get it um, to stay. Uh, or rather to get out of the trailer into the water so you have to sit there and wait for it to pick up one log at a time and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt all right we're gonna be really careful to watch for the train here okay we seem to be okay that way and we seem to be okay that way I'm a little bit gun shy about the train now, man, after what happened. It's too bad I didn't catch that on camera. It was kind of funny, but it was also frustrating. Where it hit me, you know, I was in the Mack truck and I had a load of logs to bring down here. And it threw me all the way across the river up into the forest and I had to manually use super strength to reload everything. And yeah, it wasn't necessarily what I would call a fun time, even though it was a little bit humorous. Or probably actually a lot of bit humorous. Okay, so let's get this down in the water here. And uh, what I want to do is see if we can get them to come out. But it's this crossbar up on top here that the logs tend to catch on. driving my brand new truck in in a pond here it's probably not the best thing yeah see how they catch okay well we got them kind of got them to go over there I mean it's not that big a deal but it's just you know I have to sit here and wait forever for it to pull every single daggone log out of here we got some of them to come out Okay, well, it doesn't look like it's going to cooperate, so I'm just going to wait for these to unload. Then I'm going to drive back down to the store and, and return this trailer, and then I'll meet you guys back at the logging camp, and then we'll try out the skitter. Okay, we're going to do one more thing real quick before we actually get started in earnest here. I'm going to run down to the store in the tractor and get the IT trailer. Um, so I'm just going to go drop this stuff off over here. Everything on this side of the property is completely logged out. All the stumps are removed. I've got pretty much all the brush and stuff out of the way that I want to get out. So it's ready for planting, but we still have some timber up on that side of the property. And uh, that's what we're going to work on. <laughs> Uh, in the latter part of this episode and try the skitter out oh there's something else too i don't think i've shown you guys this Voltra has um a rear steering setup which is really cool uh, so basically if we do um, shift b what it does is it turns us around and now we can actually drive this way it's really neat. Uh, the skitter kind of has a feature like this too that we'll see, but uh, I don't know of any other tractors in the, in this game, anyways, that have uh, this feature. So it's really kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's turn, get that down, and we're going to disconnect this. Okay, and then we want to hit a uh, shift. B to go 
back to driving in normal mode. Isn't that cool? <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's head back to the store and we'll grab the IT runner trailer and then uh, come back to the logging camp and do some logging. Try out that skitter. Okay, and then we take the arm back and pick up the trailer and load it up. Very slick. So now you can see what I mean where we can take this thing and we can just dump the whole thing all the way in the water and get the logs to float off. Uh, plus it'll be easier for us to um, you know, load it too if it's just sitting on the ground. It doesn't have to stay up on this trailer. Very cool. All right, I'll meet you back at the logging camp. That is just so cool. <laughs> I love it. Uh, okay, let's drop off the IT trailer over here. And then we'll get our, our winch and our mulcher back on the tractor here. All right, so let's, let's, uh, think about this for a bit I I've actually watched a couple of videos on YouTube a real life videos not not farming simulator of some dudes using skitters and you know there's um there's a few different ways you can approach this but the base you know the basic idea of course is that you um, haul the logs back to the processing area so one video that I watched they were here let's actually get in here and do the same thing see we can turn around and then drive forward this way it's interesting though because we're not actually if we look at our seat we're not actually fully facing that way we're well it kind of looks like it here what if i huh okay so the seat's facing that way but the game still has us facing forward but i guess the idea is so you can easily look you know to both sides of the skitter when you're looking at it um all right so anyway what i'm thinking i'm gonna try here is that we cut the logs well there's 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 basically two ways we can do this we can cut the cut the logs in the forest and cut them to length like we normally would do and then drag them back with the skitter. The downside to doing that, though, is we have a lot more logs that we have to pick up and take back to the camp because we have the 12 meter logs, um, we have a few six meter logs, and then we, we have the scrap logs. The other approach is that we could um, cut the trees and delimb them, but not trim them, just leave them full length and skid all of those back to the landing and then cut them up on the landing. The advantage to doing that is everything's there and we don't have a bunch of extra lengths of logs out in the toolies we have to, to get. The disadvantage is that I either have to use the chainsaw you know, to trim them up 
or I have to, or I could use the harvester, um, which probably is the way I would do that. So I haven't really decided which method is going to be the better method. So I think what we'll do is we'll try, let's try the second method first, where, where we're just going to cut the trees, we're going to cut them down, we're going to delimb them, but we're not going to cut them to length. And we'll skid, use the skidder to take them back to the landing. And then we'll trim them up at the landing. And we'll just, you know, we'll see how I feel about that. If I, if I like it that way or if I don't like it that way. Oops. Okay. Now we'll turn around. These are a, a few logs that I just knocked down when I was over here uh, with the forestry mulcher. That's why they're here. So let's get them going first. Oh, I want to do one other thing too. Let's go into controls. I'm going to switch the two keys I'm using for the crane grapple. Uh, so, oh, actually, here, we need to do it on the side panel. Uh, crane right here. Okay. So I want the open tool to be this and the close tool to be this. There we go. Okay, let's save the controls. Okay, so that should open. I have to get the used to these controls a little bit. Okay, that goes down. And that closes and that brings them back up and then I think we okay that should be good all right so let's drag these back to the landing so I don't know you know I, I I'm not sure if Yarding or skidding is the ideal way to bring logs back to the landing, you know? And maybe there isn't an ideal way. Maybe some people prefer one over the other for various reasons. Maybe it... Oh, we're... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we're hitting our IT trailer there. But what I was thinking was we put them right about here-ish um, okay so let's drop them here and then what we would do This is just kind of um, a test right now. Whoops. Got so many buttons to remember to press in this game. <clears throat> All right, so what we would do is we would bring the, the whole tree over here, and then we'd hop in, uh, in the harvester. Well, the harvester we'd have to bring back to the landing because it would be out in the, in the toolies cutting the trees initially. But then we jump in the harvester. And then we trim them to 12 foot lengths over here. And then six foot lengths. And the nice thing about that is everything's here in the yard, right? We don't have to go out and grab all the 12s first and then grab all the sixes and then grab all the scrap and that sort of thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is 
oh, sorry, steering wheel. Turn that that way. Let's raise it up a little bit. And turn it this way. We want to make sure we're on 12 meter length. And then the 12 meter lengths go that direction over near the, the trailer for pickup. And then scrap pieces we would, and keep in mind, you know, we, we would have like a, a full pile of logs there. Maybe what we would do is we would put scrap pieces over there, and then if we have six meter lengths, we'd put them there or something to that effect. So that's, uh, I, I think that might work actually reasonably well. Um, okay, so let's do this. Let's cut up these dead logs into lengths for the IT trailer, which is probably going to be six meter. I'm not actually sure how long that trailer is. Um, but let's go six meter here. And we want to turn this around this way, I think. Come on, get lined up there. See, now this could be a bit of a pain in the neck doing this because you've got a bunch of logs stacked up. It can be somewhat of a hassle to grab these. Case in point, there we go, okay. Okay, we'll cut six meters and kind of pull them over this way a little bit. Well, actually here, let's just do it like this. Okay, back up just a little bit. Oh, we got two. Um, We were supposed to get two. Yeah, no. That's not what was supposed to happen there. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. I guess if I have this open, it'll tell me when it, it shows the cut option like that. Okay. Now we'll swing this over here not really lined up very well, but I have to try and get it somewhat close. Oh, sorry, that's my steering wheel giving me grief on this thing again. Come on, go the other way, dude. that up, turn it this way. Okay, let's drive forward. And then turn it this way.
All right. So that's the basic idea. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start cutting timber up here. I'm going to delimb them, but I'm not going to cut them to length. And then we're going to yard them back to the or skitter them back to the yard and process them there. And we'll see how things go. Um, actually, though, before I start in earnest here, let's get out of the way the stuff that we currently have. One thing that's occurred to me, too, is that the terrain might be a deciding factor in the best method to use. I mean, for example, if you're on a really steep hillside, a yarder might be uh, uh, the better option, but if you're on relatively flat ground, then maybe the skitter's the better option. Okay, we get those in there. I don't know if I told you this or not, but that other trailer is already chocked full, so we have around two hundred thousand dollars sitting there waiting. Once we get the other one full. All right, let's, um, what's the, oh, I have to switch to the other mode there. And then I can put this little pusher down here. Let's see if we can get these somewhat lined up. This machine is awesome. I really like it. Um, we need to buy it too. We're, we're currently leasing it. Um, so maybe we will pay cash for it after we sell these next two loads. Um, that one log is going to give us a bit of a hassle. It's not quite what I had in mind there. I'm trying to get it straightened out, and in the process, I'm making the other ones worse. Uh, okay, so here, what if we do this? those bunched up. Okay, let's switch to the other mode. Okay, let's climb out of here. Um, I'm just going to twist this around because you could do that in real life. Let's pull out this little piece here and just throw it in here. See how easy that is because it's all on the ground there? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, we could even strap those in so they don't get knocked out. Should be good. Okay, and then we'll come around and grab this bunch, which is reasonably put together. Good enough for government work, as they say. Let's push them a little bit more. Okay. 
Doesn't look like we can get all of them. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, we'll just get them in two, two batches here. This view is a trip, man. It's it's really cool though. <laughs> I like it. Oh, a little higher. I've mentioned this before that the problem with these first person types of views in these games though is you don't have the depth perception that you would in real life so it can be a little tricky sometimes to figure out exactly where to go with okay back here and we have one this one small piece over here which is small enough for us to carry even if we didn't have super strength on okay let's just do a couple straps to hold everything in place at present and nobody look okay this isn't actually happening <laughs> <laughs> but I want to straighten this up a little bit. Okay, that never happened. If you guys, uh, if you guys uh, accuse me of doing that, I'll deny it. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think what we're gonna do here is I'm going to. Um, the problem is we're out of time. You know, we always run out of time in this game. I'm having so much fun. Let's do this. I'm gonna. Do some time lapse for you to end the episode. I'm not going to show you everything from start to finish, but I'll I'll show you at least the first part uh, of using the skitter, and um, we'll time lapse that to end out the episode. And I probably won't bring you back, and um, by the end of it, we'll probably just end it somewhere in the middle of the time lapse. So, uh, since that is the tentative plan. I'm going to uh, bid you all adieu right now. Thank you very much for watching uh, this episode. This was a fun episode. We got some some cool new toys. And, um, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, shout out the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Enjoy the time lapse.
Cause I believe 